representing Sweden. So, Johnny handsome Johnny Hansen, Sweden's number one. He's a man who's showed great potential. Normally outside world's strongest man, that's the sad truth. Normally because we're somewhere hot, he just doesn't deal with the weather well, and it's, guess what, 109 degrees right now for old Johnny. Uh, prefers the north of Sweden a little bit more of the cool there. But this is really shifting. He's got all that power and bulk. And you'll see from his first push, he couldn't wait to get started and really attack this. There we go, look at this. He has got rock climbing shoes on, might I add. <laughs> he actually has remarkably small feet for a giant. So he fits into normal look shoes. Look at that, he's done it. 35.86. My goodness me, I wasn't expecting that. There you go. Plenty of grip, plenty of power. He doesn't realise how good it was. The time of 35.86 seconds. Well, what a performance there from the, the massive Swede. Johnny Hansen! He's come out of shell a bit now. Finally, he's had a good performance at World's Strongest Man. You see it so often on the domestic scene. That's a bit more like what we know. So, Johnny Hansen takes the event, pushing the train in 35.86 seconds. Trey Mitchell continuing to do well, coming in second, and this is the first event for Tom Stoltman where he hasn't been at the top. Hasn't affected his standings yet, though. Now three points ahead of second place. Seconds held in a tie between Trey Mitchell and Mark Felix, with Hansen and Singleton in fourth and in fifth. The time of 35.86 seconds. The winner of the train push from Sweden, Johnny Hansen.